spring fever event all day today. Roberta's bringing us something very special, a bestseller that you've loved, the Waterwise Hummingbird Vine. Here to tell us all about it, Derek Walleen, part of the Walleen family that brings hey. us Roberta. It's good to see How's you. I don't see you very often. I know, I know. Days. <laughs> well, perfect timing though. Spring arrives tomorrow and mm -hmm. it's time to kind of start planning our and gardens. It feels like spring is actually arriving. Finally. <laughs> I know, it's not just a date on a calendar. So. It, but, yep, the temperatures are warming up and then we're going to start seeing finally color outside mm -hmm. as well and the Waterwise uh, Vine really known for its great color. Yeah, there's very few vines that we at Roberta's are enthusiastic about because typically they're going to take over a wall, they're going to, you know, kill your trees, mm -hmm. they're going to be so hard to maintain, they grow like a weed, and they don't have any flowers. But here you can see, you know, you've got this thick woody stems, and then as you go up, so many flowers. This is just beginning here. Mm -hmm. And what we can see uh, throughout the season, what makes this Waterwise Hummingbird Vine so special is it's one of the fastest growing flowering vines I've ever seen. It grows about six feet tall with this in the first season. So fast growing, lots of blooms and color, yeah. and easy maintenance. Like you said, this yeah. is one where we don't have to do much. So Waterwise, as the name implies, mm -hmm. we put that in the title because you give this water every once in a while. Okay. You know, once or twice a month, it is gonna do all the work itself. And what's so special is hummingbirds, butterflies, all the critters love them, but deer, they don't bother these. They don't eat the leaves off. You can see some of the, the images. They're so wonderful. These flowers are huge. They're like little, trumpets and, in the garden. And Derek, you were telling me earlier, these are kind of what, if you've traveled to Europe, many times you might see this type of flowering vine along the cottages and homes. Yeah, you can see right here, that is in Italy. My okay. family took that picture personally. Now, what we're looking at is a self-attaching vining flowering plant. What I mean by is it, ha it has tendrils, little tiny stems which grab onto everything that it comes in touch with but it also has special little suction cups which are unique to this plant and I'll show you those later. But you can see more flowers practically mm -hmm. than leaves. These start blooming in July and bloom all the way through October. So we're talking four months of flowers, Gabrielle. And this will actually ship out to you the week of April the 20th. Um, and this sold out last April when we aired our Water Wise Hummingbird Vine. It's back now, but these are our only quantities for the season. What we've brought in, that's it. We can't get more from the Roberta's family. Yeah, and you can see this is a really fast grower. You know, if you can see in that image right behind the chairs, there's one sort of thick trunk of this plant and then it just spreads out all over. You can expect up to 30 feet of growth by the third season from one plant you're getting four and they grow not only vertically but also horizontally as you see here. What's so great about these is wherever you put them they will connect and uh, vine their way up like you can see here. That's not up and down but that's left and right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people need that. I've seen whole fronts of houses covered in these and they're so special because they do attract lots of good looks from your neighbors and from all the critters that we love to see in our garden mm -hmm. every are year. Attracted. All right now this is what you're going to receive. Remember this is a four piece collection mm -hmm. so it already comes well started, well rooted for us. Yeah these have gone through their first winter already. Mm -hmm. When you get these home they are ready to grow for you. Essentially these like fold apart sunlight. Okay. A little bit of water, as the name implies. Put these, you don't need an amazing trellis, you know, that costs a bunch of money. Mm -hmm. Just put it against a wall, or if you have a little white picket fence like, in the front of your driveway or something, mm -hmm. put these there, they will find how to grow. Or even, like, what I recommend a lot of times is, you know, people say, well, I don't have a really sunny spot, but, you know, I've got a tree or a bush, and then above that is sun. These will grow up to the sun. They'll find the sunlight themselves if you don't have a lot of great areas as far as you're thinking. Well, you know? Derek, I love the idea of the water wise vine because I'm a beginning gardener mm -hmm. and I need plants that are going to be kind of easy care and easy maintenance. And it sounds like this vining plant knows what to do. It takes kind of care of itself. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I want to show you how it does that. Okay. Uh, in one aspect here, you know, we've got this branch and we've got these soft little tendrils that will naturally grow and connect to your 
fences, fence posts, you know, anything that you have. But then as you come down here, you can see right here, if you, this is a natural sort of suction cup which connects to all sorts of things like cracks in brick walls or stones. Mm -hmm. And this is what they put around um, to get inside the stucco wall hole. I mean, anything, any crack that this can grow into, it will expand. And then all of a sudden now you've got a natural suction cup as well as the tendrils. And Derek, I noticed there are no thorns along that branch. That is a great point. There's no <laughs> thorns on all the branches. The whole <laughs> vine is thornless, which is quite unique for a beautiful a flowering, plant. vining plant. Usually they always have thorns, mm -hmm. so that's unique. Well, I do want to remind you, these are the only quantities of the season that we're bringing in of this Waterwise Hummingbird Vine, and now over 600 of these have been spoken for. This is the first time this has ever been available on Easy Pay as part of our big spring fever event today. Everything on air uh, is on Easy Pay, including this vine. Uh, it, this rarely happens with this Roberta's collection, and so we're very excited to be able to bring you something that we know you love. It's already a customer favorite. That's why it's one of our hot picks today. And and it's fast growing, it's flowering, and this is something that's easy to train, no trellis needed. But if you do have like a pergola, like we just saw oh, in that it's picture, awesome. it's gonna it's fill awesome. it in beautifully. Now the thing is, this is a perennial, it's winter hardy down to negative 30 degrees, but it can handle hot, hot sun. Okay. So what this means is grow it from the lower southern states all the way up to the Canadian border. Okay. You're not gonna have any issues there with winter hardy capabilities, but, when you have this in the yard, be prepared for it to really impact anywhere that you place it. It's going to produce colors, beautiful salmon pink, you know, golden oranges, flowers for four months every year starting July, going all the way through October. Then in the wintertime, the green will die back, but you'll have thick, sturdy, hard woody stems that will remain. And that also looks beautiful. And then next springtime, all of a sudden the, the leaves sprout up again. See that, and now, every year it comes back, you're going to get more and yeah, more coverage, right? You exactly. said like in three seasons, you could have up to 30 feet. 30 feet. Uh, 30 in fact, feet. the tree we have in front of us is three years old. You can see by how thick this is. The only reason why it's not 30 feet tall and wide is because mm -hmm. we keep cutting it back. And speaking of maintenance, how, what do we need to do to maintain this year after year? So no deadheading required. The hummingbirds and bees, they will come. They'll pollinate this mm -hmm. thing. What's special is, in terms of maintenance, they like fold apart sunlight. If okay. you don't have a lot of sunlight, plant them where you like, they will find the sunlight. They, they're very fast growers, and mm -hmm. you know, by the first season, you'll have six uh, feet of growth. But um, you know, they don't like a lot of care. That's why they're water wise. Mm -hmm. They ha handle their own water needs through the soil mostly. They kind of regulate their water yeah. intake. So as long as you hit it every once, what, maybe once a week? once. Once or twice a month, week. actually, oh, I think. a month? Maybe if okay. it's hot, hot, hot summertime, you can give do a little, a little more, bit more. Give it a little drink. But they're really drought-tolerant, hardy, sun-loving uh, plants. Now, when we wow, have look at these, those blooms. think of all the places you can put them. Anything that you have that you could imagine a, a vining plant, have these there. Remove the ivy, which is considered a weed, uh, like a noxious weed, practically, by mm -hmm. most gardeners. Put something which is beautiful and flowering and doesn't uh, choke any other plants out. And you can have these beautiful, thick, ruffled, trumpet-like flowers. It's a friendly flowering vine, right? Yeah. Friendly to its neighbors. And remember, this is going to spread and fill. Uh, this our only order of the season. Uh, we sold out of our Waterwise vine last April when mm. we brought it last season. It's our hot pick today and for the first time, it wasn't on Easy Pay back in April when it sold out. No. This season we have it on Easy Pay today as part of our Spring Fever event. That works out to two installments of $16.30. And by the way, the shipping and handling is already included in that price. Yeah. And this is what you're going to receive. You're going to have yeah, you're four, getting of these. four of them. Yeah, there's two yeah, more if you mm -hmm. want to grab yep. them. So you can do a lot with four. Now each one of these plants will grow around six feet tall and six feet wide In the first, first year. That's taller than so, me. Yeah. What are you, how tall are you? Here? Six, one, and a Okay, bit. so your first season, your vine will get as tall as Derek. 
And think about where you might put this. I'm thinking at my front door, I actually have a little aw like an awning with posts. Mm -hmm. That would look so pretty yeah. to have all this color um, and that fullness to greet my guests when they come through the front. A little bit of make kind of like southern charm when I think yeah. of it. Yeah, like, well, I mean, and then in the wintertime, you have these wonderful vines. It makes your house look very antique, but yet refined and uh, mm -hmm. elegant and lively at the same time. Mm -hmm. So after a couple seasons, you can expect a lot of growth, up to 30 feet from one plant in all sorts of dimensions, up, down, left, right. Mm -hmm. So with four plants, you can really cover an a entire lot, yeah. side of a house or a long picket fence. Whatever ideas you have, go for it because you can achieve that with the water-wise hummingbird vine. I, I love that idea of with a fence because if you want extra privacy, you have a wall, uh, yeah. right, a living wall of all this thick, lovely, beautiful blooms. By the way, for the rest of the season, we only have 2,200 of this collection to go mm. around. And just in this presentation, already 1,800 have been spoken for. I hope you're taking advantage of the easy pay because that doesn't happen very often with Roberta's Robert plants. And this is a customer favorite. Remember, no trellis needed. You don't have to have the fence if you don't have one. Uh, this will kind of just grow on its own. It's really, really low maintenance, but you love it because it grows quickly and it blooms beautifully. Yeah, and so I want to show everyone, you mm -hmm. mentioned no trellis needed. As long as you put this next to something which it can grow on, on. <laughs> you know, a w even just a brick wall, it will connect. And the way it does that is twofold. One is its soft tendrils, which will twirl around anything it can grab. And the other way is these suction cups, which are very unique, found on only a few vine binding plants that I've seen. These will grow into cracks and crevices on brick walls, uh, concrete, stone, wherever you have and it lodges right in those cracks and then you know this the plant keeps growing mm -hmm. along like that and every nodule actually will have one of these Little suction cups so it's really amazing that's how in Europe all these old town villages particularly in Italy where we discovered this in 2006 mm -hmm. we realized oh we have to have this, this at QVC where we saw it they don't use a lot of trellises there they just have it growing totally spontaneously up on you know concrete or brick or stone walls mm -hmm not meant necessarily like here i mean there's no trellis they just grow oh, that's and that's what's so awesome you don't have to spend a lot of money or a lot of time putting up all these other fixtures so you can then have your plant you know well th this will look great if you do have a fixture like you see here like mm -hmm. a pergola but even if you don't this gives you coverage it's full it's lush it's colorful and this is the time of year i was driving um, through a very wooded area the other day Derek and I'm like everything just looks dead you know there were no leaves on the tree there was still a lot of brown around it's time for a little color infusion and you're going to yeah. get it with the and, water wise and the thing about the water wise is it's a super fast grower it's one of the fastest growing flowering vines I've ever seen so they're one of the first plants to get their green leaves in the spring okay. and then starting in July you've got beautiful flowers Whoa, I mean practically beautiful. more flowers than leaves. I mean, this is just starting to get going. And that lasts for four months every year. So you got a lot of color. I mean, imagine 30 feet of color times four from one set after just two and a half to three years. Well, already we're down to the last 1,500 for the season. We are not able to bring more in. And really, our gardening season, we're you know, kind of just getting, getting our groove here. Mm -hmm. um, this is not, we are not able to bring more in, and this is the first time it's been on easy pay. Um, so just in this presentation now, already 1,800 of these have been spoken for. You're receiving four pieces. And I yep. love that you guys send them to us already well-rooted. Like, they're not just these little itty-bitty no. buds. I mean, these actually would be a lot bigger if we didn't cut them back almost every week. These are have gone through their first winter already. They're quite old. When you get these home, expect within the first season this summer for them to grow around six feet tall and wide. They're extremely fast, prolific growers, prolific bloomers. They attract hummingbirds, butterflies, all the good animals that we love. Right. But the deer, the rabbits, the, they, none they of these say, other yuck, are bah. somewhat mm -hmm. obnoxious creatures. Mm -hmm. They're not into it. They're gonna That's why alone. they're so great. And you're getting four, so you can cover a lot of space with one set, mm -hmm. even more with two sets. So. 
Well, this will be great if you do want some more privacy or coverage along a fence. Maybe you said, you know what, I'd like to add a little beauty to the side of my house. There's not a lot going on. I have a brick fireplace. That one I think would look pretty, kind of climbing yeah. up oh, that awesome. fireplace. I've seen it mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Really amazing. And then if you do have a stucco home, as you can see here in Europe, many of the homes are covered in a stucco. This yeah. will grow. Those little suction cups, kind of like a rock climber. They find a foothold and then yeah. just kind of awesome. nestle in. And that means that you don't have to worry about it or train it. The water wise is very wise. It will regulate its own water intake. You don't have to water it that often and it will just grow big and tall in the first season, as tall as Derek, six mm -hmm. feet tall, six feet well, in width, and you're getting four pieces, so you can spread it all around. And then I like the color combination, these reds and the yellows and a little yeah, bit Yeah, and coral. you'll get both of those in each pot. There's a few different, you know, we don't just put one plant in each pot. You're getting a couple different okay. plants in each pot, and so you're going to have this color combination of the yellows and reds and salmons and all up together. So when you plant it, you get that beautiful, like, melange of different color. So it's really beautiful. Well, that's why we chose this as our hot pick today. Yep. We know that you love this Waterwise Hummingbird Vine after it sold out last year. We brought it back today. We started this presentation with 4,000 pieces. We're down to the last thousand for the season, not just for the day. This is it. We're not able to bring it back until next year. Yeah. Keep that in mind and take advantage of those uh, that easy pay. Shipping and handling is already included. And you guarantee all of your plants. Yeah, we want to make sure.